Hello. Welcome to my channel. Where we discuss important things in the world about living. Nothing too serious, but I don't want to freak anybody out. But it's going to be some good infos, some real infos. And hopefully, you guys you know, take the time, think about it, make up your own mind. Don't believe me. And yeah. Let's have a little gander. A little Gandalf gander, eh? Alright, I want to talk about the word being. Just doing some meditation. I was writing down all these things, basically trying to figure out how do I. Don't explain. I want to talk about the word being. 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 But first, before we talk about that word, let's talk about words in general. I think pretty much the majority of people who've clicked on this video out of curiosity already have a pretty good understanding of words, how they use as spells, how the words that we use, not only is it the intention behind them, and not only is it the structure and the sequence in which we use them, and the sequence of the intention behind each word, like a pattern, like a dance, and it's also the resonance and the sound, the shape of your mouth, and the colour of the sound, the shape of the sound, the sound of the sound. That's why music is so good. And it's also about the shape of the sound as in the, as I said, the dance, the pattern. So, if you're singing against a song like lyrics, and it's rhyming, way more pertinent than, say, something that doesn't rhyme, or is out of tune, or just random speaking that doesn't really line up with your voice, or anything, it does, see, it doesn't really make sense. But if you start to speak a little bit resonating, and you start you have a little bit of a pattern when you speak, then you can get really get the ideas across very easily. Practice that. Ooh, practice that. And really important how you speak and what you say. When you hear a word, go into your brain and know the word. Ah, like, oh, being. I'm a being. What are you being right now? Human being. All right, whatever. That's me. I'm a being. I exist. I be. But the word is actually a little bit deeper than that, and I think it is a huge block on us. It's a really good example of the obvious, the intricate layering of words. And we'll get into like the Latin and the as I start to learn a bit more history of words and where they come from and everything. But I was thinking about the word being, right? Being. I'm like, what is being? And because I wrote it on that page like that, be in. It's a big coincidence. Like, ooh. Be, yeah. In. What is in? ING. Doing. Running. Skipping. Procrastinating. What is in? Ing is the plural function of the verb. You can do. Do something to do something. If you do something, it's the prime action. It's timeless. In, in the do is that experiential moment right there, do. Right happening right then. Doing extends the do from a stagnant point of do to in. Do, 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 do. Running. I went for a run. Whole. Whole vernacular. The run becomes the action. I am running. I went running. Becomes the explanation of it. Becomes the verb of the verb. Ing. 
So a being is not just what you are, but it's the extension of you over the long, over a longer sense of the word. It's not just the stagnant in the moment. If 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 being a being meant just being you, then you wouldn't be a being. You would be a be. I'm a be. I'm a human be. But we're not. We're constantly evolving. We're constantly moving, and I and that's critical to our day-to-day -day lives and evolution. I take personally. I'm only just coming out of this mega rut. What is procrastination? It's it's imagination. You you think about things that you can be. I want to be a singer. I want to be a lawnmower. I want to be cooking dinner, or eating dinner, and you start imagining it. And so you're sitting in that moment of be, and and you're imagining your in. You're imagining your being doing all this other stuff. Being. And I think to really truly encapsulate the word human being, we need to encapsulate the word the in, and the um, the. What did I call it earlier? The, the extension of the verb. The, the, it's the adjective of, of the verb. It's the action of the verb. You know, the verb is the thing. The verb is actually the noun of the thing. Run. You know, a run. So, running isn't running without the ing. It's just a run. It's a thing. But once you put the ing on it, it becomes an action. So, are you a human bee? Or are you a human action? Make a choice.